This right here is the Tesla Model X. This is my dream car. Full electric SUV. This thing is bad. This, this is the SUV my daughter made me. She worked so hard on it. It even has a swinging door right there. This thing is bad too. And of course my daughter made it. Unfortunately, only one of these cars can join me the rest of this episode. And I gotta choose which one I love the most. What's up, y'all? I'm Anthony. You're watching the PA News Network right here on Adonna the PA's YouTube channel where you get the latest and greatest PA-related news and content every single Tuesday. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and come back here every single week. You ready for the news? Let's get it. As always, the links for all the articles that you'll be hearing this news from will be in the description box below. So if you want to read the full story on any of these things that you will be presented, check out the link below. So apparently the dudes is making more change than the ladies in the PA and NP careers. This article on clinicaladvisor.com says that while the wage gap persists between male and female advanced pr practice providers, it is narrowed this year. In 2018, men earned approximately 17000 more than their female counterparts. In contrast, results from the 2019 salary survey indicate that male MPs earned approximately 11K more than female MPs and male MPs, male PAs earned approximately 15,000 more than female PAs. Why? I don't know. Don't kill the messenger. I'm just presenting the news, ladies. A Riverside County man admits to stealing doctors and a PA's credentials so they can buy and resell drugs. Christopher Lazenby perpetrated his scheme by stealing the identities of at least nine doctors and one physician assistant, which allowed him to use the Drug Enforcement Agent, uh, Administration's online registration system to change the addresses of eight doctors to mailboxes he had rented in South Los Angeles and Carson, according to his plea agreement. Lazenby changed the address of a ninth doctor to show his medical office was room at a Motel 6. <laughs> what? How does that even work? Doctor, where's your office? Motel 6. Come on over! <laughs> who's, who's, who, <laughs> who's doctor's office at Motel 6? That wasn't like a, a red flag. Like the mailman didn't like, oh, Dr. So-and-so, Motel 6. What doctor even stay at Motel 6 to spend the night? They don't even got, they don't even spend a night at Motel 6. Anyway, whatever. Doctors, PAs, MPs, all you guys, keep a good lock and key on your credentials. Physician assistants going to Nova Scotia to target hip and knee weights. The Nova Scotia Health Authority has finally been given the green light to hire physician assistants in a pilot project. The physician assistants will work in the hip and knee orthopedic program, be tasked with helping surgeons in the operating room and meeting with patients before and after surgery. They'll also have the ability to prescribe some medications under the surgeon's supervision. So if you're a PA or a soon-to-be PA and you're looking for a job, Apparently Nova Scotia needs you. Today's social media shout out of the week goes to BAM! Ashley K. You guys, be sure to check her Instagram page out. She is a board certified PA in vascular surgery. She has great posts, quality content, and she's a blogger, so be sure to check her out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to come back every single week right here on Adana the PA's YouTube channel for more PA and healthcare related news and content. I'm out! I gotta go tell my daughter I chose the Tesla over her. Oh shoot, that's not the best. Did that.